Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We're going to talk about the big breaking news today that comes from Arsenal Football Club in the fact that they have signed their first player of this transfer window in the form of Nuno Tavares. Yeah, the left back, the Portuguese left back, has officially signed for Arsenal from Benfica in a deal worth, at the very least, 8 million euros plus add-ons. We're going to be talking about this deal. We're going to be talking about what may follow with Arsenal in the coming days and weeks. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all, please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things are always and forever be greatly appreciated. But for now, let's get back to talking about the official confirmation coming from Arsenal that they have signed Nuno Tavares. The news first came from Fabrizio Romano on the Nuno Tavares deal. Romano tweeted, Nuno Tavares to Arsenal, done deal and here we go confirmed. Paperwork's been signed today between Arsenal and Benfica board for 8 million euros plus add-ons. Interest started during Guendouzi talks with Benfica. Tavares was part of a swap deal, but Matteo wants to join Marseille. And then obviously later on, Arsenal came out themselves and confirmed that this deal was officially official, officially confirmed and that they had made their first signing of this transfer window. And overall, from what we can gather, it does look set to be a busy few days and few weeks for the club, for Arsenal, doesn't it? With the number of incomings and outgoings of transfers that are reportedly set to happen or could possibly happen with everything fl uh, with the swirling around the rumour mill that transfer windows creates for certain clubs, of course Arsenal are no different. We are of course including the supposed Lekonga deal which is set to possibly spring into action properly at any given moment. That could possibly be confirmed at any moment. The Ben White deal, of course, is another one which has quietened, quietened down a little the past few days. But again, could re reignite, could spring into action again at any given moment. We don't know officially. It seems imminent that that deal could be possibly set to be announced. But at the same time, we don't know how far away that is from actually being made official. But we have to wait and see, of course. But this is news that we definitely know that Tavares has signed for Arsenal. And, of course, this came about a few days ago, several days ago. And, of course, has reached a swift conclusion today by Arsenal officially announcing him as their player. The 21-year-old Portuguese player is a left-back, which, of course, as we know, is an area at Arsenal that is a little bare right now for the club. Of course, they have their regular starter, Kieran Tierney, who recently just signed a new five-year deal with the club. But cover in that area, in case Tierney is out for whatever reason, is a little bit light. So it does seem that Tavares will come in and be the guy to provide that cover for the Scottish left-back. So smart planning there on Arteta and Arsenal's part. He played 25 times for Benfica last season across all competitions, with 14 of those appearances coming in the domestic league in which Benfica finished third. So he does have a little bit of experience under his belt and he was obviously starting to get it. He's of course played in multiple different competitions for Benfica. But like I say, still quite young, 21 years of age, still a little rough around the edges. But with his age, it does seem a very good fit to sort of slot in and be cover for the main man, which is Kieran Tierney. He's a very attacking fullback. He's quick. His crossing is a very strong attribute, as you'd hope and expect from a fullback, in all honesty. But it's said that he's still a little rash and a little rough around the edges. But given the fact that he's still 21, he's still relatively young, it's understandable. I haven't seen too much of him, admittedly, so I can't really comment too much on him. But as far as a guy coming in and being cover for their main left back, someone who can come in and do a job when needed, although Tierney is becoming a little bit more injury prone, but hopefully the worst of his injuries are behind him. Given his attributes, given his young age, given how uh, every, everything about him that comes along with it, and given how Arsenal has seemed fit to spend 8 million euros on him, Gotta say, it doesn't look like a terrible deal in all honesty. It does seem like good enough cover to provide for Kieran Tierney. 
Given his age as well, you can also then go on to balance his playing time a bit more. You can afford to have him be on the bench a little bit more, but then obviously come in and provide cover for if Tierney is injured, suspended, or just needs a bit of a rest, particularly over the busy periods of the season. And given that he's an attacking left back, similar to Tierney, Tierney is a very attacking left back. He slots in great there in terms of the tactical and mentally uh, and mentality style of the Arsenal setup right now. He's young, he's hungry, he wants to prove himself and can offer good competition to Tierney and keep him on his toes should he need it. And, you know, we've seen already numerous times, numerous examples of players that have came into the Premier League from other countries and other leagues and even despite their young age, have slotted in great and have actually provided to be very good additions to squads. You look at Fofana last season for Leicester as just one example. Tavares could be a very good addition here. 8 million euros plus add-ons as well isn't exactly a terrible fee either given the current state of the transfer window and stuff like that. So really, I don't really see it being a, 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 a massive or too big of a gamble for Arsenal in terms of how this transfer will go. I actually see it as being fairly decent. I don't think it provides a massive gamble. But we'll wait and see how things turn out for Nuno Tavares. But as far as cover goes, it does seem like a very decent piece of business as far as bringing someone in to cover your main left back goes. And look, in my opinion, Arsenal need to get these kinds of transfer activity, this kind of transfer activity done, dusted and dealt with in a swift fashion. They need to go out there and strengthen their squad, there's no doubt about it. They need to act fast I and mean, they need to get all of these negotiations done and dealt with as soon as possible so you're not leaving it till last minute like they have done previously and not leaving it till like transfer deadline day or whatever when it seems a bit of a rushed deal. We all know that because the overall goal here of course is that they want to be back in a position where they're challenging for European football again. They are getting European football again and they need to rebuild this club from top to bottom. But looking at the things like this, and it may seem very small, it may seem very small. This transfer dealing may not be the most overwhelming or may not be the most inspiring piece of business that any club or even Arsenal will even do this transfer window. But... If, even if I was an Arsenal fan, I'd be looking at it and going, we're kind of moving in the right direction a little. I would be a little bit optimistic about what may happen in the future on the pitch. I know you've got a whole different saga going on off the pitch in terms of the ownership. I know that kind of story is rumbling on. But in terms of things on the pitch and the, the transfer dealings that are rumoured to be floating around all, the, all this summer and so far during this transfer window... I'd be a little bit optimistic in all honesty. Of course, the proof of whether that optimism is justified comes when the new season kicks off, of course, in a couple of months' time. But the signs, at least to me, from the outside looking in, seem sort of positive. That the club are attempting to rectify things. They're going out and they're getting business done early rather than leave it till last minute, which is what I alluded to earlier like they usually do in a few of these transfer windows previously. I know that Arsenal in the past have kind of waited till the season started, then sort of jumped on the, we're gonna do some transfer window, transfer business kind of stuff. So it's, it's a good thing, I think, that Arsenal are getting this kind of stuff done early. Like I say, there's the Lokonga deal that still needs to be sorted out, but is seemingly close to being done so. Ben White deal as well is is similar to that. It's said to be very close to being done and almost being done. Announcement possibly is imminent, but we'll wait and see on that one. Like I say, I don't know too much about Tavares, but from the little that I do know about him and from what I've read as well, all of that combined, it doesn't seem a bad fit for the club in terms of cover for a position that you desperately need and in terms of financially financial the financial status of the of the club as well as the financial status of the deal 8 million euros plus add-ons 
it doesn't seem too bad in all honesty. But of course, as I always say, these are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it, of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of this news that Nuno Tavares has officially been announced as an Arsenal player? Arsenal fans, what do you make of this news? What do you make of your transfer policy so far? What do you make of the potential news of Ben White? and Lukonga both joining Tavares in signing for your club as well. I'd love to know all of your guys' thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it, down in the comment section below. I'm sure they'll all make for interesting reading. Otherwise, hit that like button on the right if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things will always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I will see you next week with you all again soon in another video.